A family in despair after being forcibly evicted from a home they've lived in all their lives. Early Sunday morning, police broke into this house where the Hanoon family was sleeping, dragging them kicking and screaming from their beds. And they put, our, put us out and um, they didn't let us, uh, they didn't allow to us to go inside. Then um, we're trying to, to, to go inside my home because I can see my home there, it's empty. <laughs> And I, I want to come back to my home soon, and I will. As the family waited by the barrier, we heard police officers taunting them, saying they were in Israel, not Palestine now. Two families, the Ghawi and the Hanuns, were evicted from their homes in East Jerusalem. Last year, they lost a long-running legal battle in the Israeli courts with Israeli settlers who claimed to own the property. The family have documents from 1956 proving the house was built and given to them by the United Nations and the Jordanian government. We're just across the street from the Hanun house. This is where the Ghawi family live. We've been seeing police taking furniture out of their home for several hours now, and the police have cordoned off the whole area. Even the United Nations aren't being allowed to pass. I don't push you. Go out. When we tried to get through, the police pushed us back. For Palestinians, this is just another example of Israel trying to lay claim to and increase Jewish presence in occupied East Jerusalem. Last November, another Palestinian family were evicted and settlers moved into their homes. Several eviction orders in this area are still outstanding. They're planning to take house by, uh, by house, and they claim that they own this, uh, all this neighborhood. But I'm sure that later they, won't, they can't take uh, any house from this neighborhood. Because our lawyer, he has all the documents to prove that there is another Palestinian on this land. The evictions come at a time when there's increasing pressure on Israel to stop settlement building on occupied Palestinian land meant to form part of a Palestinian state. Past evictions have caused an international outcry, but made little difference. Israel presses on with what many are describing as a cleansing of the Palestinian population from land internationally recognized as theirs. Shireen Tadros Al-Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.